Hi, my name is Rob Mitchell. I'm a research agronomist with the United States Department of Agriculture, Agricultural Research Service, located on the University of Nebraska-Lincoln East Campus in Lincoln, Nebraska. We're out here in the field today, in a field that was in last year grown in Roundup Ready soybeans, and it's 24th of April today. It's unseasonably warm, as you can likely tell from the sweat on my brow. But what we're working on today is a project growing perennial grasses for biomass energy. And we're in the process of seeding those grasses today. And as we go through this whole process of seeding, a couple things we'd like to point out to you are that Roundup Ready soybeans make a great seed bed for no-till establishment of the perennial grasses. Also, some benefits of this uh, no-till Roundup Ready soybean seed bed is it does a great job of conserving moisture for us and also does a really good job of helping us maintain and control weeds. Switchgrass is a native perennial warm season grass that's a leading biomass crop for the United States. Switchgrass has a reputation for being difficult to establish and taking three years to get a usable stand. This may have been the norm 25 years ago, but it's certainly not true today. New herbicides and cultivars have made it possible to seed switchgrass in the spring, harvest after a killing frost, and be at 75 to 100 percent of full production the next spring. Since switchgrass is a perennial, productive stands can be maintained for more than 10 years from a single planting. A few simple guidelines need to be followed. Switchgrass is easy to establish when quality seed of adapted cultivars are used with the proper planting date, seeding rate, seeding method, and herbicides for weed control. In the central Great Plains and Midwest, switchgrass can be planted two or three weeks before to two or three weeks after the recommended planting dates for corn, typically from late April to early June. Switchgrass should be seeded with at least 30 pure live seed per square foot based on the quality of the seed lot. Number of seed per pound varies by seed lot, so calibrate your drill based on known seeds per pound. Seed bed preparation for switchgrass is similar to that for alfalfa. Excellent results are obtained by planting no-till into soybean stubble with a properly calibrated no-till grassland drill with depth bands that plant seeds a quarter to a half inch deep, followed by press wheels in seven to 10 inch rows. If switchgrass is planted after crops that leave heavy residues like corn or sorghum, it will help establishment to graze the residue, shred or bale the stalks, or use tillage to reduce the residue. If tillage is required, the seed bed needs to be packed to firm the soil like that for alfalfa. The packed soil needs to be firm enough so that walking across the field leaves only a faint footprint to promote good seed to soil contact and prevent soil infilling of the packer wheels depressions. Weed competition is the major reason switchgrass is slow to establish. Applying 8 ounces of quinclorac plus 1 quart of atrazine per acre immediately after planting provides good weed control. During the establishment year, escape broadleaf weeds can be treated with 2,4-D at 1 quart per acre after grass seedlings have 5 leaves. Weed control will account for only 5-10% to 10 of your establishment costs, so don't hesitate to control weeds. After a successful establishment year, switchgrass will need limited additional herbicide applications with good management. Herbicides must be used following the herbicide label and federal and state laws. Always read and follow the label directions and contact your local extension agent for specific issues in your area. Use a frequency grid to monitor grass and weed seedlings during the seeding year. When grass seedlings are easy to see and have three to four leaves, select at least 10 different locations in your field. A stand frequency of 50% or greater, that's two or more plants per square foot, indicates a successful stand whereas stand frequencies between 25 and 50 percent are marginal to adequate and stands with less than 25 percent frequency may need to be overseeded or reseeded. Nitrogen fertilizer is not recommended during the planting year since nitrogen encourages weed growth, increases competition for the establishing seedlings, increases establishment costs, and increases the economic risk associated with establishment if the stands should fail. Soil tests are recommended prior to planting. The keys to establishing switchgrass are one, plant high quality certified seed of adapted cultivars. Remember that cheap seed is not a bargain. Two, develop a firm seed bed. Three, use a well calibrated grassland drill. Four, plant seed at a quarter to a half inch deep. Five, plant two to three weeks before or after the recommended corn planting date in your area. Six, control the weeds early with herbicides. And finally, number seven, monitor weather conditions and try to plant before a predicted rainy period. Successful establishment during the seeding year is critical to the economics of growing switchgrass for bioenergy.